So, today is National no, or Worldwide Suicide Prevention Day. By the time this video is released, Raven, it's not going to be World Prevention Day anymore. Hey guys, this is Raven for Pressing the Panda Button, and today we're going to be talking about World Suicide Prevention Day. And I know it's not a very cheery topic, obviously, and I sound very cheery, but that's just how I am. And this maybe sounds horrible, but I kind of am a little more relaxed on the topic anyway, but that's because I myself am a suicide survivor, so yay. So today I've got some facts I'm going to share with you about suicide in general and things you can do to help your friends or to help yourself. So let's get to it, shall we? So I'm reading off facts off of dosomething.org because I don't know everything, clearly. But there are a couple of things that I do personally know. Fact number one is nearly 30,000 Americans commit suicide each year. We have close to 319 million people in the United States alone. And if we're losing 30,000 people per year, that's not good. That's pretty bad. Number two, in the U.S., the highest suicide rates are in the springtime. Um, some people have speculated that that's because, you know, things are much more cheerier. There's change, people are joyful, you know, flowers are blooming, animals are all, you know, copulating and all that fun stuff. And some people, the reason they commit suicide in the spring is because they feel like they are too sad to keep up with the joy that usually comes in the springtime since usually spring is a time of renewal so yeah very interesting number three is suicide is the third leading cause of death for 15 to 24 year olds and the second leading cause between 24 and 35 year olds which is not good guys so let's talk with the first group the first group 15 to 24 that's about high school to college age. And we know high school is tough. We know college is tough. Personally, my suicide attempts were when I was in high school. I was probably around, no. Yeah, I was close to that age. I was around 14 years old. But, you know, those suck, guys. And especially, it usually would be over things that can be changed. And they don't know that life is better. Life gets better. And okay, I'm going to pop this right now. If you, you, I'm looking at you, yeah you, you with the face, if you are within that age range and are suicidal, take it from somebody who has attempted five times. Life does get better. Okay, I attempted five times when I was 14. I'm 22 years old. And in that time, I have become section leader in the marching band. I was in marching band in high school. I graduated high school, I went to prom, I had a serious relationship, I got to find out what love felt like, I've gone to college, I'm about to graduate college. I've worked at a zoo, I've worked as a, I worked with vets, like, so many things have happened. And of course, I've made these videos, and I make my videos on my channel. Those things would never have happened if I had succeeded at killing myself. So remember that, guys. And then going on to the second, to suicide being the second leading cause of death for 24 to 35 year olds. That's around the working class age. And of course that's stressful too, because you've got to deal with a job. And usually around that age, you also have a family. And kids are stressful, okay? Let's face that. And then you have to deal with financial burdens and um, yeah, work and family and all sorts of big grown-up things that us 15 to 24 year olds don't have to do it just yet and that can also cause to want to kill yourself because you feel like there's no way out of it look look i'm gonna blow your mind are you ready there's a way out of it suicide is not that answer there are always ways to get out of situations there's always ways to get help Killing yourself is not going to solve the problem. It's only going to make it worse for those around you. 
So the fourth fact is on average, one person kills himself every 16.2 minutes. I don't know exactly how they figured out that exact number, but still, that's terrifying to think about. Every 16 minutes, somebody kills themselves and succeeds. That is, guys, that's pretty scary. Like, that's enough time to watch half of a Netflix episode. That's usually enough time to bake a pizza. Like, that is a short amount of time if you think about it. And it's a pretty scary one. Next fact is that each suicide immediately affects at least six people. That's at least. So when you feel like that your problems are going to end and nobody's going to care if you're dead, a lot of people are going to care that you're dead. Okay, so let's take your family members. Average family size is about four. So if you kill yourself, there's three people right there. We'll say about average. You usually have friends. Let's say you have a good group of like three friends. Six already. And that's not even including classmates, coworkers, professors, um, bosses, friends you meet outside, like just at random places, um, clients that you meet with. There's so many people you affect daily in a positive way that are affected if you kill yourself. So if you think nobody thinks you're gonna matter, you matter greatly. I mean, I know for me, whenever I said I was trying, I was trying to kill myself, like my parents were devastated. My brothers, both of them, because I have a half brother too, they were devastated. My best friends, even though they knew about it, they were also devastated. And like maybe a few friends that my mom said because she didn't tell a lot of people. But the point is that you're going to be affecting more than just yourself. You think that suicide is just a very personal thing? No. You will be affecting more people around you than you realize. And sometimes suicide can lead to somebody else committing suicide and it can become a domino effect. And that's not cool, guys. So, next fact is about two-thirds of the people who commit suicide are depressed at the time of death. Um, depression is one of the top diagnosed mental illnesses in America. I want to say it's probably number two with anxiety being number one and ADHD being number three. And a lot of people will have moments where they feel depressed, but people who have depression may not even know that. And usually depression causes suicidal thoughts. So it causes you to feel that way. And sometimes if you act out on those thoughts, that's not good. So if you feel like, if you're not diagnosed with depression and you feel like you've been having depressive thoughts, which could be thoughts like constant feelings of sadness, constant feelings of worthlessness, being tired all the time, weight gain, weight loss. If you feel like you're not acting as yourself, go talk to your doctor. Because being diagnosed and getting the treatment you need will help you in the long run. The next fact is for every 25 attempted suicides, there's one that succeeds. Now that is something to think about. Like, because obviously not everybody's going to succeed and we don't want people to succeed, okay? Because you are here on this earth for a reason. This is something I tell people all the time. If you didn't have a reason for being on this earth, you would not have been born. You would not have been here. But since you are here where you are, watching this video, you are here where you are, you are here for a reason. You may have already done your reason, you may not have, you don't know. But the fact that you are here on this earth, being around the people that you are around, means that you are meant to be alive. Like, I didn't think that it would matter if I was dead. But look now, this is like eight years later. And I mean, I may not know my purpose yet, but part of it is the vlogs that I make. And those have been helping people. So, you don't want to become a statistic. Do not become that one out of 25. You want to be the 24 out of 25 that survive. Or just don't attempt suicide, period, because that's bad. 
are. Another fact is that males make up 79% of succeeded suicides, while women usually have more suicidal thoughts than actually going through with it. And I find this one pretty interesting. I'm not really sure why that is how it is. One thing I do know for sure that's quite interesting is males are more likely to kill themselves in a violent manner, such as gunshot or cutting their wrists or something like that. Women are more likely to kill themselves in a, we'll say a cleaner manner, like by overdosing on pills or drowning, which is very strange to think about, but I mean, it happens, so. Males are more likely to go through with it. Why? Who knows? Women are more likely to have the thoughts. And of course, women are more, or tend to be more emotional anyway, and tend to take a lot of burden on themselves. And, I mean, that's just how it is, unfortunately. This next fact is pretty terrifying. One in 65,000 children between the ages of 10 and 14 commit suicide each year. Now, that may not sound like a big deal, one out of 65,000, but that's 10 to 14 year olds. Those are children. And a child committing suicide, that is terrifying. Especially because that child doesn't know what their life has ahead of them. Like, they're just kids. And yet, to feel so depressed that you want to kill yourself as a 10 year old, that is just... That is mind-blowing. That is terrifying to think of. And just, that breaks my heart just thinking of that. Like, I know kids that are 11 and 12 years old, and thinking of them killing themselves, just, no. Why? But unfortunately, that's now become a statistic. Next fact is that there are twice as many deaths done by suicide than by HIV or AIDS. Which of course, HIV or AIDS is bad. If you don't know what that is, basically they attack your immune system. Um, I, what do they mean? I can't remember the exact terms right now, but basically it attacks the immune system and you can, you're susceptible to any kind of disease. And that, of course, is a killer. I think it's the second or third killer besides cancer. But the fact that there are twice as many deaths by suicide as there is by HIV or AIDS, that's, that's scary to think of. And the last fact is over 50% of suicides are done with firearms. Um, why that is? Who knows? So, you know, if you know somebody who's depressed and they have no firearms around them, be careful. And, okay, so we've gotten through all the facts. Now, what can you do to help? If you feel like you or someone you care about is suicidal or depressed, you can go talk to your doctor or I will link, I believe there's a website that can link you to different suicide hotlines all around the world. And I will link you to that somewhere in this video, hopefully. Um, and guys, just remember, you're here on this earth for a reason. If you don't think anybody cares about you, I do. You are an awesome person. And even though I'm just talking to a camera and I, I don't see your face, I care about you a lot. This heart is meant for you, okay? So if you're thinking about killing yourself, please don't. You are here for a reason. You are on this earth for a reason. You may not know that reason yet, but you are meant to be here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was a little bit more of a somber topic. Um, if you like what you see, please give a like. Um, of course, like and subscribe to Psych2Go. They're pretty awesome. And if you'd like to see more about living life with generalized anxiety disorder, then please subscribe to my channel, which is vlogging about living life with anxiety. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye!